fan. Look at Emma. She's such a slut. And he dumped you by text. What a prick. So then he's like, stop hassling me. Go for it. What are you waiting for? Start a Facebook group against her. Just tell her to piss off. What a loser. Pathetic. If it's tough being a teenager today, it's even tougher being a government department trying to promote respectful relationships amongst a cynical audience. You can't tell kids how to behave, but it seems you can get them to think about it and start to figure it out for themselves. The Lime campaign in Australia does just that by simply asking the question, where do you draw the line? After launching with a range of media, the campaign lives where teenagers live, online. At the LINE website, they engage with polls, blogs, and interactive videos. A drawing tool lets them express their feelings and add to a growing gallery of thousands of emotive images. But the conversation has really taken off on Facebook. As a virtual replica of teens' real lives, social media proves the perfect place to discuss social issues, and the debate rages daily on a wide range of controversial subjects. The depth and frequency of engagement on Facebook has turned the line into a living, self-generating community with over 5 million interactions so far. Facebook likes have topped 70,000 and are growing daily, and there have been over half a million unique visitors to the website. And while it's still growing, the government's objective of engaging teens in the conversation has already gone way beyond expectations.